All right, in this video, we're going to be making a temperature uh, conversion uh, program. Uh, if you're having trouble in class, this video will definitely help you out. Uh, if you're not in class and you're just following along, welcome. We're going to make a temperature conversion program. If you look at our code, you'll notice it's a little different from a Windows application form. This is in console application. If you're in Visual Studio 2017, there are two types of console. There's the .dot .NET Core and the .NET Framework. We're in the .NET Framework. Uh, you should see a screen that looks uh, just uh, like this. So uh, we're going to get started. The first thing we need to do is uh, we need to declare some variables. There's no way for us to predict if the user is going to want to go to Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we need to store that value. We have no idea what the starting temperature is going to be that they're going to enter. We also need a value for that. There is no way for us to predict what the final value will be for the temperature uh, conversion. So we need a value for that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is response. And we're going to do that as a string. And the str response will store whether they want to go to Celsius or if they want to go to uh, Fahrenheit. And because it's letters, we're doing it as a string. The next thing I need is int temp. We're going to do that as an integer because they're going to give us a starting uh, temperature. Most people do not enter a decimal. Like here in Florida, it's 71 degrees. I'm not going to enter at 71.6 uh, degrees. So we're going to assume they're going to enter a whole number, which is why we're using a uh, integer. Now what we need to do is uh, the final temperature we're going to do as a decimal because uh, it's not, you know, maybe they're doing some homework and they're writing a program and they need to round uh, or they need the decimal. So we're going to give them the option of getting uh, a decimal. Uh, we're also going to uh, look and see if we need to uh, round. Uh, the test data we're going to use is 71 degrees because that's the temperature uh, down here in Florida. It feels uh, pretty nice in the morning. Other than that, it gets uh, sweltering uh, hot. So uh, we use console.writeLine when we want to output to the user. And the first thing we want to ask them is, what is the starting temperature? So what is the starting temperature? And then what I need to do is I need to store that in a variable. And I do that with console.readLine. And I have to know where that's going. And that's going to be right here. It's going into int temp. So int temp is going to be equivalent to whatever they type in. To get the um, input of what they typed in, we use console.readLine. So write line outputs, console.readLine is uh, what they have inputted and we're storing into a variable. If we do store it into a variable, uh, the computer is not going to remember uh, what they typed in. The next thing we need to do, console.writeLine, and we want to ask them, are you converting to Celsius or to Fahrenheit? Make sure I spell that uh, correctly. It looks uh, correct. And then I need to store that. So str response equals and the same thing console.readline looks like I spelled my variable wrong nope there it goes okay so uh, now they can enter uh, C or F and I need to let them know that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up parentheses C F and I'm going to put that capital so they know to enter a capital uh, letter there is something you can do to make sure it constantly runs until they enter a capital C or F and we may look at that uh, in a minute Definitely not necessary, but uh, some good programming practice to do to prevent your program from crashing and also to make sure your program runs and uh, you want to anticipate the, um, you know, uh, I don't want to say stupidity of the users because there's no such thing as uh, stu stupid users. Uh, the, uh, the needs of your users, they may need to be reminded to put in a capital C or F. So you always want to anticipate uh, what they're going to do. But uh, the first thing we need to do is get this program working and then we'll look at that uh, in a few minutes. So we need an if statement because they can enter either a C or an F. And if they enter C, we need to use the Celsius formula. If they enter F, we need, we need to use the Fahrenheit formula. So if str response equals, and I have to put this in quotes because it's looking to see what that variable uh, equals. If it equals uh, a capital C, then we want to use the Celsius formula. Now the Celsius formula is Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. So we need to put that in. Now you might be saying, well, we didn't, uh, we didn't get F. How do I know what F is? 
Well, because um, they're converting to Celsius, INT temp is their starting temperature. So for example, I said our test data is gonna be uh, 71 degrees. The Fahrenheit temperature is 71. So it'd be uh, 71 or whatever they enter, minus uh, 32. And then I'm gonna multiply that by five over nine. And um, I forgot something really, uh, really important. You wanna set that to a variable. You can't just type in the formula. It needs to know where it's going. So we're gonna do DEC final equals. Uh, there we go. And then what we need to do is we need to output the temperature. Console.write line, the temperature. Actually, we can save a line of code because we also need to do the um, Fahrenheit. And because we're using the same variable, it'll be okay. We can output it at the very end. So if str response uh, equals f then, and then I use the uh, Fahrenheit uh, formula, which is gonna be Celsius, which is what they entered, uh, times 1.8, which is uh, nine divided by five. And you gotta make sure you use that asterisk, not the uh, x. X is recognized as a variable, and then uh, plus 32. So that will be my conversion, and then I can simply output here, console.write line, and then um, the final temperature is, and then I can output the final temperature, which is the EC final. All right, so we're gonna save this. We're gonna run it and make sure it works. Hold Control F5 when you're starting the program. If you just hit F5, it's going to uh, stop and close as soon as it displays the answer. By holding Control F5, it'll prevent that from happening. So what is the starting temperature? I said here in Florida, it's 71 degrees, and I'm converting that to Celsius, and the final temperature is 21.6666667. All right, so a lot of sixes there. Uh, it doesn't look uh, too good, so we can uh, round it. So let's go ahead and round it. Um, we want to round it before we output the final temperature. If we round after we output the final temperature, that's not going to do us uh, much good. So we're going to use a math.round uh, function. It's built in, very easy to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to do DEC final equals because what are we, we got to store a new value into DEC uh, final. So we're going to do math.round. And when you do math.round, it wants to know two things. It wants to know what variable are you rounding and then how many places do you want to round it to? So we are rounding DEC final, I put a comma, then it says, how many places do you want to round to? I want to round to two places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, control F5, run it again. Uh, starting temperature is 71, I'm converting to Celsius, 21.67, looks good. If you have a number pad, you can hold the Alt key and type in 0167, let go of the Alt, key and that will give you a degree uh, symbol. The computer that I'm currently recording on does not have a number pad so I am unable to do that. I could go to Google but that's more for aesthetics. Um, we're just looking to make sure this program works and you understand how code works. Now I said there's one thing we can do to make sure that this program runs continuously until they uh, enter a capital C or F and we can put that uh, right here. Now this for if you're in my class this is completely optional you don't have to do this. We will be doing it uh, later this year, but I want to make sure that they're going to enter a capital C or F. Like I talked about, anticipating um, the actions of uh, the user. So we're going to use a do until loop. So we're going to do keep running this prompt until their response is a capital C or until their response is a cap is a capital F. So this will run uh, continuously, and then down here, I want these uh, statements to run. I'm just gonna uh, loop that, and then um, that'll be good. Once it, it's a capital C or F, we can do that. Actually, I can move this loop up, because I don't need the if statements uh, to run. I just need this prompt uh, to run. I don't need the if statements to run continuously. If I do a do until loop, it's going to uh, keep going, uh, analyzing those if statements. So it'll save a little bit of a little bit of time. I mean, not much computer's going to process it, process it so fast. It's not going to make a difference. All right, Control F five, and let's see if it works. All right, so our starting temperature is seventy one. Our user says, "Oh, I'll just enter a lowercase c." Ah, it gives them the prompt again, lowercase f, 
punch in a bunch of keys. All right, still working. So we want to go to Celsius, capital C. Panel temperature is 21.67. Um, I also need to test for uh, Fahrenheit. So we're going to say the starting temperature is zero. And when I'm going from zero degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, it should come out to 32 uh, uh, degrees. So I hit F. Final temperature is 32. So it's uh, working out very well. So that's all there is to it. Not many lines of uh, code at all. Uh, looks like, you know, right around 30 lines when we get rid of these spaces. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can always post a comment below. If you have a suggestion of a video we should make, definitely please post a comment below. If you need help, post a comment below. Any questions, bring them to class. We'll see you guys next time.